Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I have a cooking video for you today. This is volume 36. This is a recipe called Mississippi Chicken, which all of a sudden lately I've been seeing a lot on YouTube and just social media, but it's actually a recipe that's been around for a while. I did not create this recipe. Again, it's been around for a while. I've only made this about three times, I think, ever. Um, I think the first time being when my son was a baby, so five years ago. And it's just one of those recipes that I forgot about and it's really good so it is a crock pot recipe it is it does call for chicken thighs you can probably use chicken breasts I've never done it with chicken breasts um, but I'm gonna use six chicken thighs here it's super simple I do mine a little bit different than the other couple people that I've seen do them on YouTube so you're gonna need chicken thighs you're gonna need some whole pepperoncinis in the jar you're gonna need some Hidden Valley Ranch or an off-brand of ranch dry seasoning mix as well as a brown gravy dry mix you're also going to need a half stick of butter and the way that i do mine differently is i actually sear my meat before i put it in the crock pot um the couple people or a couple videos that i've seen on youtube the people have put the breasts or the thighs in just like this raw and um, Kimmy over at her channel is she's in her apron she actually put her thighs in frozen now if time is an issue and you don't really have a lot of time and you need to throw it in you could certainly do yours thrown in frozen or raw just like this but I like just to take an extra step and sear it the couple previous times I've made this recipe I've seared it um, and it's just come out a lot better than the one time I made it when they were just raw like this so I actually have a big pan here that's preheating with a little bit of this um, canola oil here just a little bit to coat the bottom I'm gonna go ahead and get these searing you're not gonna searing just means guys you don't cook them all the way you just want like a nice golden brown crust on the sides I don't know why it just the meat comes out juicier and more flavorful and this is all you need I actually serve mine over either rice or mashed potatoes I'm probably gonna do rice tonight just because we've had potatoes quite a bit this week and last week so let me go ahead and show you how simple it is to get these seared up I have my crock pot already preheating with my crock pot liner it's a five hour on low cook time um, and let's go ahead and get started all right guys so I've salted and peppered my chicken thighs just for a little bit of extra seasoning my pan is ready to go it's hot because you want a sizzle when the meat drops onto the oil. I'm just gonna take a tong, and that's the sound you want. You want it to sizzle, you want the oil to be hot so it doesn't absorb into the meat, just a little tip. So I'm gonna get these down, salt and pepper side down, and then I'm just gonna use uh, quickly salt and pepper the other side, the other side. So that's down, I'm just gonna quickly Salt, pepper, and then just let these thighs do their thing. Maybe, I don't know, two to three minutes on each side. Again, you're not cooking them all the way through. We are just getting a nice crust on them, and it'll just be more flavorful. All right, guys, so I just did a couple minutes on each side, like I said. You just want a little bit of crust on them. And we are going to go ahead and put these directly from the pan into the crock pot. My crock pot has been preheating on low. I'm just gonna put this in. It's a really, really good dish. And I really like that it's not, it doesn't have a super long cook time. It is about 1 p.m. right now. And I'm just getting this in. Okay, so that fits perfectly. And the thighs are in. Let's go ahead and get everything else in. It is very simple. All right guys, so first up, I'm gonna get my ranch seasoning in. And you just pour it, kind of sprinkle it. So each piece has some ranch on it. And again, you can get an off-brand um, ranch. It doesn't have to be the Hidden Valley kind. Next up, the same thing with the brown gravy mix. I'm just gonna sprinkle that all over each piece. Okay. 
Next up is the peppers. All right, so whole pepper chinis right in. I'm pretty sure online the recipe calls for six. I like more than six. I usually do about, I don't know, eight to ten. So there is four, five. I kind of spread them out a little bit. And I actually add a little bit of the juice from the jar as well. That's optional. Um, I don't find these really all that hot. Um, but that's, again, up to you. So as you can see, I did put a little bit more than six in there. And I'm actually just going to take the jar and just pour, I don't know, a couple tablespoons on. That is optional. I did take my half stick of butter and I cut it into slices. So I'm just going to go ahead and get like the little slices. Oops, this one is stuck together. I'm just going to separate my slices. And between the peppers, the juice from the meat, the butter, and the dry seasoning, it's going to create a really yummy, yummy sauce. So I'm just going to put the butter again, spreading it out and making sure it's kind of evenly distributed. So there we have it. So I'm going to put the top on, let it cook for approximately five hours on low. Again, I'm probably going to serve it over rice, possibly potatoes, probably rice though. And I will share with you guys how delicious and yummy it looks when it's done. Okay guys, so about five hours have gone by, just short of five hours, and it is all done. So I'm going to go ahead and plate it up and give you guys a final look. Okay guys, here is a final look. It makes like a little bit of a gravy sauce and it's just delicious. And the nice charring and color is from the caramelization of the meat being seared. Peppers are still intact. They give it such great flavor. Just made some steamed white rice, a steamer bag of mixed veggies. We we're both having the same thing. I like mine really saucy as you can see. The meat just falls right off the bone. It's so delicious. I will link this recipe, I'll type everything up down below. It's really easy as you guys saw. I hope you'll give it a try. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want more cooking videos, just comment down below and let me know. I really do take your feedback into consideration. Again, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day, and I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys.